before. We might see uh, 20 character uh, name tags if such uh, if they feel like it. Yeah. Uh, any other features that are coming into play today? So, I so guess for the, the tournament edition, yeah, here. the tournament selection makes it easier to select stages. I like that. Uh, they can press uh, X on the on the stage selection screen mm -hmm. to uh, kind of strike a little bit easier than they would in the random uh, selection, which is kind of the standard before this. Yeah. That's so we'll see that come into play. Right um, a couple of other that. subtle things <laughs> that a lot of times don't get seen. Uh, we have... Um, oh, wait, are we going in here? Yes, we're going into it. And the cool thing is uh, neutral start is applied automatically. I for, love that. Yeah, that's pretty nice. That's... That's something that I, I love seeing uh, additions that no one would ever turn off. Mm -hmm. Like just improvements, as I guess you could call it, rather than addition. This is going to be a fast game. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, Brick. Probably, I would say definitively the best puff in uh, the best puff in Oregon uh, ever since Brandon uh, switched to Falco. There hasn't really been much of a contest on mm -hmm. that. Um, and so a lot of, interestingly, um, a lot of locals in Oregon don't get a lot of chance to practice against puffs. Right. Um, so, you know, it's kind of one of those mix-ups of, oh, do you know how to avoid the rest setups? Do you know how to avoid yeah. um, the easy edge guards with the constant wall of back airs? And we'll see how that comes into play during teams. Um, obviously, blade-wise, uh, Vino, one of the stronger players in the state of Washington, is a solid puff main. Right. So he's gotten some experience with that, and we'll see how that comes into play with his matchup. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, I don't he think does. he's going to be uh, intimidated by either of these characters. Yeah, it's going to be a matter of wow. It's going to be a matter of really great forward airs. That's what it's going to be a matter of. That's for sure. I, uh, I could see this going either way, which is why I'm really excited to see it happen. Yeah, um, eggs and blade wise, obviously a definitive powerhouse. Uh, yeah, this would be definitely an upset. <laughs> yeah, if went forward, but uh, Kyle knows his moves. Uh, Rat King knows what he's doing. I wonder how much he's been practicing over the time. Oh. He's been playing a lot recently. That's uh, good. He's been uh, sort of, he he goes through uh, phases where he'll play uh, a lot for he's like six on months on again, and off not again. at all for six yeah. months. Uh, but he's in one of the phases where he's playing a lot and That's taking it cool. really seriously, as you can see by that yeah. very slick movement. They're making it, uh, they're, and they're a holding fantastic forward smash. Yeah. They're I think holding underrated edge guard at the high level, people start thinking that you're uh, phoning it in if you're forward smashing. But situationally, it'll catch. It throws a very large hitbox that stays out for a very large, long time. Of course, of course. Okay. So Brick is out, um, and then Eggs Bladewise doing a pretty solid edge guard there on Rat King. Yeah. Uh, he makes it oh. back, though. Good pretty high percent. Wow. Was that, was that an up-air save? It I think like so, he yeah. Was, he was going... It looked almost like he forgot who his teammate was. <laughs> okay, forward smash. Uh, Blade Wise goes in on Brick, and it might be just too much to ask for him to make it back. It is. So now we have Rat King. Uh, not a lot he can do here. No. Um, oh, the twin shines. And this is kind of this is going to be the story of the match, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, oh, now Blade Wise. <laughs> uh, Picking the wrong fox to send off stage. It's easy to happen. Man. Yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> Neither of them yes. seem to know who to hit. Okay. That was and he makes it back. That what is beautiful. happening here? Uh, All right. Very good turn up. Finally, the uh, turn up of all things would be the closer on that s on that set of uh, on that set of stocks. Look at the beards on this team. Yeah, anyway. this is the beard team. If any, if the top, the S tier beard team in Oregon, uh, by far. And we got uh, Bladewise's uh, absence on the stream cam. Yes, makes uh, him all the more ominous. Yep, he is slightly over to the right of Eggs. Yeah. Um, Shane, not exactly a beard, but nope. looking sharp, looking like he could win. <laughs> Shane has been looking. Now, this is kind of interesting, actually, for anyone who watched. Uh, Northwest's uh, Major's Drop Zone. Which I did. Just a couple of weeks ago. We saw uh, Eggs make a run like we haven't seen in quite some time. He was playing so well. He was playing very clean. Obviously, in the past year, he's definitely had his position as uh, number one in Oregon 
pretty distinctly challenged by Steven. Who he then beat. Who he then beat and then went on to um, take some definitive sets against Top Washington. Uh, play Top Washington and just general Pacific Northwest players. Yeah. Cleanly. Cleanly. Um, and then ended up um, falling to, I believe, the likes of Bladewise and uh, Dirk Fox, who yeah. were also there. So yeah, this the is Bladewise interesting. set was uh, really hype. Yes, it was. Really cool. Uh, he was playing super great, but obviously Bladewise is just for sure, for sure on it and knows that matchup in particular so well. Uh, every okay. setup on Fox. Now we're Battlefielded. seeing yeah. unfortunate in doubles. We're seeing Eggs and Bladewise do just a very good job of walling them out. Uh, they're not really getting caught between. That's kind of one of the tactics um, I've seen a lot for teams mm -hmm. um, who know each other pretty well, as they kind of try and sandwich their opponents and just kind of force them to take bad options that might either. Oh my goodness! It's not looking good for our. No, heroes. it's it's really not. Remember earlier when I said this could go either way? Yeah. That was very wishful thinking. I was wondering where that logic came from. It came from a great love of, uh, of the Rat King. Of the beard. I was trying to, uh, to imbue a certain amount of magic into the beard, but uh, as we see now... Now we're not seeing... Okay. We didn't see Rat King take the, um, take the stock from no. Rick. Interesting. However, yeah. So now he's got um, kind of this interesting... No. Oh, no. Okay. Up oh, air into. Eh. You bad. know, they didn't have a whole lot of options for punish there. Puff was at a low enough percent. What do you think is optimal? Yeah. I guess the Fox just lasering and then letting the finishing move come from Peach. Yeah. Maybe yeah, a dead smash. Just... No, not a dead smash. Not looking good, guys. <laughs> what is happening looking here? Looking great. Looking great. I think it's going to happen. It could happen. This could go but, either way. Uh, <laughs> Well, well, you know, if uh, Eggs and Bladewise stop comboing each other, um, they will probably have an easy time wow. this. But look at this. Wow. Shine. Look at this. Down tilt. Is that what that was? Uh, he's going to make it back. Eggs does as well. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening anymore. How do you play doubles? Him. Keeps going. I think he's got it. Keeps going. Oh. Okay. Finally, Nair off the corner. A valiant we'll effort. See. Yeah, a much better finish than one might have possibly expected. Yeah. Uh, from this challenging team of Rat King.